Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the style setting in FileSecure contact form. You can see it on my screen now and basically what this is is a really simple way to edit the CSS of your contact form. Though there are a few other settings that we'll go through as well. The first setting that we see here is the ability to enable a field set box around the form. If field sets are something that you wish to include in your website's markup, at least where a contact form appears, you can definitely enable that and it will automatically have the label of contact form. The next is how you choose to deliver the styles to the contact form. By default, it's going to use the internal style sheet, which uh, all the settings for are included below, but if you wish to code your own CSS from scratch, uh, you can do that very easily using an external style sheet, such as style at CSS, or just one that's included in the theme anyway. Uh, to keep it simple, we're just gonna leave it on the internal style sheet, and I mean, we've had a look at this form before anyway and it's reasonably pretty good looking at the moment so we don't see any real need to change that. Next we can change the alignment of the divs. The first is to reset the alignment styles to labels on the top. That's the default, it's also the recommended and it's what we've got at the moment as you can see the labels are above the actual fields that we use. So if you did make some pretty awful changes to it and it wasn't working as you expect you could just click that box and then hit save changes. But hereafter is where we get down into the nitty gritty CSS. Uh, they're all pretty straightforward and someone with even a little bit of CSS knowledge should be able to get through this and make any changes they want to the layout of that contact form. Uh, you can see basically every single property in that contact form is represented here. And that's all very super easy to use. You can just add CSS as you require and then hit save changes. Then we get down to the CSS for the labels, field inputs, buttons and text. If you make a mess of it, you can just click this box here to reset it all back to the defaults. Otherwise, uh, you can come in here and make any changes you like. Maybe you want to change this color from red to something else. You want to change your text alignment, you know, the size of fonts and so on. It's all super simple to do with this plugin. Uh, and you know, as you said, that there is that safety net there that if you do make some changes and they're awful or you don't like them or it breaks something, you can just click the reset button, save your changes and go back. One thing that we do suggest turning on in here though, uh, something that we feel is really, really super important to mention is this final setting here, which is enable ARIA required tags for screen readers. Now, the reason we suggest you do that is that, you know, more and more people who are vision impaired are using the web every day and they use screen readers and are reliant on them to effectively browse websites. So if you don't turn that on, it can make for a very poor browsing experience for vision impaired individuals. So by turning that on, you can save them a lot of pain and make your website pleasant for all people to use. Of course, when you're done making any changes here, click save changes to commit them. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. That's the end of this video. Uh, just a very quick one, just showing you through the styles in Fast Secure Contact Form and that they're you know all there for you, super easy to change. And you have those resets there in case something goes horribly wrong. If you have any questions about this or anything we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below.